So the strategy that I used for this crypto trading bot was a combination of the EMA crossover and the uh, relative string index. Uh, you can actually see the strategy plotted out here for, for Ethereum. Uh, the yellow line here is the 9-day exponential moving average and the blue line is the 20-day uh, exponential moving average. And when the 9-day crosses over the 20-day, I would use this as one of my indicators for the uh, long buy position. And then I would combine this with the relative strength index. Uh, what this would do is, is or, or the way that I would use this is, once the uh, RSI crossed over the upper bound, uh, I would use that as my second uh, b uh, buy signal, and I would use that to um, actually execute a uh, trade, and it would basically buy into the uh, the uh, crypto when both of these uh, scenarios were uh, triggered. So. Looking at the uh, back test, I ran it over the course of one year from the start of 2021 until the end. And I started, um, well, as you can see, it seems to be buying low and selling high. So there is some, some profits here. And it would make about $180 per trade. And uh, it made about roughly 2000 over the course of one year. So with that being said, uh, we're going to be using the Alpaca Trading API, and we will be uh, using our Python code over here. So at the start, we'll be calling our main function. Uh, what this will do is it will loop through the uh, four cryptocurrencies that are provided by the Alpaca tr uh, Trading API. We have Bitcoin, Ethereum, uh, Litecoin, and Bitcoin Cash. Once that is done, we will call the price data method. Uh, what this will do is it will uh, call this method here. It will get the uh, current day, and then it will get the, uh, the uh, minute data based on the uh, ticker label. After doing some data cleaning, we will then calculate our uh, EMA crossover and our relative strength index. The way that the, the EMAs are uh, calculated, they're, they are calculated in pandas using the method EWM and taking a moving average of the nine and the 21 days. We then uh, create more columns for the golden cross and the death cross. Once that is done, we also have our relative strength index, which is being calculated. We go with our standard 14-day uh, period and we calculate the uh, the the RSI. Once that is done, we set our upper and lower bounds. This will be critical in uh, knowing when uh, we will also buy or sell the uh, the uh, crypto. So uh, here we have our upper bound and our lower bound, and then we return our pandas data frame. Right. We are back in our. Where are we? We're back here. So here we have our pandas data frame. Once that is done, we will calculate the uh, buy signal, which is just a combination of the of crossing the the upper bound of our RSI and getting a golden cross from our exponential moving averages. And this this should compute a uh, one for our uh, buy column and if it does not uh, if it does not trigger both of those in indicators we should have a, a zero for our buy column.
So we're going to run this right now. And then it should spit out our uh, data in the data folder. So here we have Bitcoin. Uh, there wasn't any purchases there. Uh, Ethereum also no purchases. Litecoin was zero. And so was Bitcoin Cash. You can see, um, you can kind of look at the data and find out by, uh, well, it's a little bit hard to see with this because this is a CSV file, but since we have our uh, buy column in the far right and we are looking down the uh, right side, we would know that if this was caught at, at the very end, then, then we would have bought Bitcoin Cash. But since uh, we didn't do that, we just have a zero here, then we didn't buy uh, Bitcoin Cash. So that being said, once we have our data, we will then uh, execute our trades. So first we will loop through our four tickers and then read in the uh, CSV file into a pandas data frame. Once that is done, we will call the execute trade method. Now what this will do is it, it will um, get the um, most recent um, row of our pandas data frames and it will check if it's a buy if if the uh, far right column like what we're, what we were just looking at um, a, a minute a, a minute ago was a buy signal and it, if it is it will print it out to the uh, terminal after that it should submit a uh, market order. Uh, what that means is it just buys the uh, crypto at the current price uh, and it will spend about $50 on that crypto. You can change this later to 500 or 1000 or, or or simply 5 And after that we also set our stop loss and our take profit. So our stop loss is based on the most recent uh, minute of the uh, closing price uh, it's simply if it drops 1% less than that closing price then we will e exit our uh, trade and if it uh, goes 2% above our most recent uh, closing price then we will have a take profit That being said, there hasn't been a whole lot of trades recently. Let's do a reload. Yeah, so there hasn't been a single trade, and the reason why, all right, let's look at the most recent time period. Yeah, so over here we have our, our EMAs crossing over, but our, uh, I believe we have the 65 day and the 25, no, no, the 65 upper bound and the 25 lower bound. So obviously this isn't going to uh, execute trades, but let's see if we, um, let's say if we drop the 65 down to a 50. Yeah, that will definitely, um, that will definitely buy into that. Let's do a 55 actually. Um. Let's stick with the 50 actually. We'll stick with the 50 because uh, it easily breaks our upper bound. And then we'll, we'll see if that will execute trades. So, first we'll turn that over. And then we can run that. Uh, yeah, and it just bought Bitcoin and Ethereum. So, we can check our uh, trade API real quick. As you can see, we just bought Bitcoin and we just bought Ethereum. Um, as it, it, we haven't triggered our uh, stop loss yet because it hasn't hit 1%. Uh, at least Ethereum is uh, going up, so that's pretty good. As you can see here, uh, that, that seemed to be working. Now, now let's, let's check our Bitcoin. Bitcoin USD. All right. So this looks like it's it's doing pretty well, um, and it seems to be working out uh, well. The 
the the indicators seem seem to be working. Um, I could probably I would, I would probably play around with the with the upper bound a little bit more. It seems to be a there seems to be a, a certain level where we can execute good trades and 